Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to um, get rid of spam text messages um, that you might be getting on your phone. These will, this app will sort the text into a different folder and so let's get into it. So open up the app store and search for text killer. This is by the famous um, developers of um, Robo Killer and it's a fairly recent um, app that's come out, as you can see down here. It's by Thai Tech Systems, which makes RoboKiller, which has 262,000 ratings. Um, it's only 20 megabytes to download. It's 3.4 star rated, but it's a new app. There's only It's only had 59 ratings, so that's part of the reason. Let's look at the description, and it says eliminate 95% of spam text messages for free. Obviously, it works 24-7. It uses keywords like, for instance, Trump and Biden, free and prize. Those are common terms used these days, and so it will filter that into a separate folder, which I'll be showing you how to do this. So let's get the app. So I've opened it up. I've already downloaded it. And once you get to the um, main screen, it might tell you to set this up and things. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I've already set it up, so I didn't come up with that for me. But go to settings, go to messages, scroll down to unknown and spam. Make sure you have checked on the text killer filtering. Select the filter to turn off notifications for SMS spam messages and sort them into a separate list. So... This does. This will help you not get the notifications, and it will filter it away from your conversations with friends and family. Now, it'll still show a number, like, of how many texts you have, and it counts the spam too, which I wish it didn't, but I think that's an Apple thing, possibly. But anyway, let's go to messages. So it will be in this unknown and junk folder. So this message here. Um, was put there. I don't think it's actually spam, but since it said free, that's why it was put there. So you might want to look in the unknown junk from time to time if you've gotten a message that's not in your regular folder just to make sure it's not spam because it may block some um, messages that aren't spam. So just remember that, but it should block um, whatever messages that you've had those keywords in. So let's go up to the app and set it up. They have spam or blocking right now, which shows common um, messages that people are getting in the count of them too. CBD oil and Macy's Black Friday in July. Joanne, Trump, 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 Democratic, Hillary and Trump, Trump. There's a lot of political things and there's sale things and there's probably going to be prize and free things. So remember that. Go to the bottom bar, tap on block slash allow. There you can put block um, keywords in. They already have Trump, Biden, free, and prize. You can add and remove whatever ones you want. You swipe to remove from the right side if you want to remove it. You go to allow to add allow um, keywords. So there's those settings for keywords. You can go to settings, go to setup, and make sure... It's set up properly. Um, text killer analyzes, filters, and protects you against annoying or malicious text messages from, messages from people not in your contacts. So, not just keywords, but people who are not in your contacts. Anything su suspicious gets moved into the junk folder. And it tells you how to do it if you need to see again. Um, you can see help and support, legal, and you can rate the app. So... This version is 1.0.1, .1, so it's an early release. There's no advertisements. You don't have to pay for it. And so it says automatic protection. Text killer is all set, so it's blocking stuff right now. So there's it does some automatic blocking. Blocks um, non-contact senders. Um, it also blocks keywords. So those are basically, I guess, the three things you could say. It blocks non-contact senders. It blocks text that you have keywords in that you don't want and thirdly it blocks um stuff they've 
recognize and set aside like the the ones you see on the home page and they have 10 of those but there's probably more to be honest but so that's text color for you i've seen some spam get blocked and it's nice to have it go to a separate folder but really for me i wish there was no notification at all because i still see the the notification in the app icon it doesn't send me a notification, but what I mean is it sends, it shows there's a mess, unread message, so that bugs me, and I end up going look, and deleting the text message anyway. So it's a great app if you don't care about that number or whatever, or you just will look at it at some point in the future to delete it. But that unread number icon in the top corner of the messages app will be there unless you go and delete that message. So that's annoying. I wish if it went to spam, it didn't give you um, a notification of that like on the app icon. So that's something that I don't like about this. It could be on Apple's end too, you know, maybe that's the only thing they could do. So it's not the app necessarily, but I wish that could be changed in the future to only show the number of unread uh, messages in my regular folder, not to count ones in my spam, but maybe that can be solved in the future. This is good for those of you that don't, will just delete the message later or don't care to have an, a number in your top right corner of the app. So great app for blocking text messages that you don't want. I've gotten quite a few on this phone, to be honest, because I got a reused number, I think, when I got this phone, so that's annoying, but this will help you um, filter out this stuff you don't want in your main feed and you can deal with it later. So that's the nice thing about this app. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment down below, whatever you, what your thoughts are on this video and the app, etc. And thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing if this was helpful to you. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.